Oh, hello, George. <laughs> can you see me? I can see you, but I can't hear you. Oh, yes, message me like that. Thumbs up. <laughs> and we're all fine. Oh, coping with the new way of life. James is happy, killing zombies on the PlayStation, and Kitty's on about, oh, five social media platforms at once. Your mic's still not working. Oh, never mind, I'll keep talking. At least I can see your face. The house? Oh, it's lovely, and the garden's blooming. How's your little rental? Oh, sad face. Oh, dear. I miss you so much. We all do. I keep thinking about it, the bad timing. I mean, off you go on your business trip just before the lockdown happened. I warned you, remember? I said, be careful, George. You'll get stranded. And you told me not to worry my pretty little head and everything will be fine. What, George? Now, we've talked about this. You can only come home when this isolation is over. You know that. It's just not the safest course of action. It's the legal one. You know what our neighbours are like. But of course they'd recognise you. Where have you been, George? You could be contagious. They see you walk up the path and they'll call the police or somebody else would. Of course, I miss you. Oh, George, I nearly forgot. When they declare this isolation is over, would you mind awfully if we made it permanent? <laughs>